The incident occurred shortly before 5 p.m. on Sunday, February 11th, when Las Cruz police officer Jonah Hernandez was responding to a trespassing call by the owner of the property on the 300 block of South Valley Drive. There has been a history of trespassing, vandalism, starting fires, erratic behavior, and people leaving needles on that property. The suspect was confronted by the property owner the day before and asked or told to leave. The investigation has revealed that when Officer Hernandez arrived at the scene, the suspect, Armando Silva, 29, immediately attacked him with a large kitchen knife. After stabbing Officer Hernandez, Silva, a man with a history of crimes and mental illness, tried attacking a bystander who witnessed the unprovoked attack on Hernandez. That witness retrieved his own firearm, shot and killed Silva. Another witness then utilized Hernandez's radio to call for help. How's it going, boss? You've been staying here for a while? What's up? This is your place? So you're the one who called? What's that? You're the one who called? I didn't call. Huh? I didn't call nobody. Oh, oh, shit! 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 Officer, hey, hey, where are you bleeding? Oh, shit, shit. How's it going, boss? You've been staying here for a while? What's up? This is your place? So you're the one who called? You're the one who called? Hey, hey, where are you bleeding? Oh, shit, shit. Hey, 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 stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. Hey, hey. Uh, sir, officer, hey. 
Hey. Hey. Fuck. Yeah, I I shot him like three or four times. He stabbed in the neck really bad. Where's the radio? Where's the radio? Uh, right here, right here. Shit. No. Sit by Chris BD. No, he's bleeding really bad. He was stabbed Come in the brother. neck. Brother, please, please hey. stay with us, man. Hey, the stay with us, man. Shit. Shit. I need his radio, man. Uh, fuck. He's, he's got a really bad right in the neck, right where my hand is. Officer down, officer down. Where are we at? Shit. Valley and Amador, Valley and Amador? At the tip top trailer sock? Tip top trailer sock. Hey. Officer down, officer down. Fuck. Fuck. Stay awake. Stay with us, man. Stay with us. Stay turn, with us. Turn him on his side, brother, because he's choking in his blood. Turn him on his side. Okay. I, I, will you help me turn him on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, 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 got pressure on his neck. I got you. I got you. Hang in there, brother. Please hang in there. I saw him attack him and I just grabbed my gun and I ran over here. Brother, please stay with us, man. Stay with us, man. I'm a former cop. I made it. You can make it too. Officer down, officer down. Oh my God. I think there's another wound on the back of his head. We're at Amador and Valley, officer down. Valley and Amador. I see him, I see him. Right here, right here, right here to your right, to your right, to your right. Shit. Stay with us, man. You're going to be okay. We've, I've got you, all right? Okay, but we got officers in route. Hey, he got, there's a big gash in the back of his head. Oh, Son of a bitch. Hey, it's okay, man. Go, go, go back Who's to the car. Who's your boyfriend? He's your boyfriend. Go back to the car. His, his neck, oh, I've got pressure on his neck. Put him on his side, put him on his okay. side. He's He's Officer Hernandez was transported to Mountain View Regional Medical Center, where he succumbed to his injuries. Hernandez served as a Las Cruces Police Department officer since June 2022. Officer Jonah Hernandez is survived by his wife, Yesenia Lopez, and two sons, Sebastian Jonah, 10, and two-year-old Joaquin Leonel. Hernandez was from El Monte, California, and grew up in El Paso, Texas. He was a 2006 graduate of America's high school. Central Dispatch broadcasting on all channels. Please stand by to copy the final call for Las Cruces Police Officer Jonah Hernandez. Central Dispatch 989. Central Dispatch 989. Central Dispatch to Las Cruces Police Officer Jonah Hernandez, LCPD 989. Central Dispatch, all units, be advised there is no response from Las Cruces Police Officer 989. Officer Jonah Hernandez, 35 years old and a two-year veteran with the Las Cruces Police Department, has given his life in the line of duty while serving his community with courage and valor. Officer Hernandez, your brothers and sisters of the Las Cruces Police Department will forever be forever grateful and proud to have served with you. You serve the community with valor and dedication and will never be forgotten for your greatest sacrifice. Officer Hernandez, the mission set forth has been completed. May you find eternal peace knowing that your strength and legacy will endure in the hearts of those that you have left behind. Your honor and dedication will remain steadfast within all of us who...
The man who witnessed and intervened in the fatal attack of Las Cruces Police Department officer Jonah Hernandez has been identified as 29-year-old Isaiah Astorga. On February 27, investigators presented facts of the case to the 3rd Judicial District Attorney's Office. The DA's office, after reviewing facts of the case, has declined to pursue charges against Astorga. Astorga, through his attorney, Luis Robles of Albuquerque, provided a written statement released on February 29th. Astorga's statement in full reads, On February 11, 2024, I witnessed an individual attacking an officer at 335 South Valley Drive. I saw that the individual who was attacking the officer was in complete control of the altercation. I made the decision that I was going to go try to stop the altercation, but I was afraid that the individual attacking the officer could make the decision to disarm the officer of his service weapon. So, I decided to arm myself with my handgun that I keep in my car for protection. I then ran towards the fight with the hope of stopping it. As I was approaching, I could see that the officer was bleeding severely from the neck area while continuing to be attacked. I yelled for the attacking individual to stop. However, in a threatening manner, the individual who attacked the officer turned and advanced towards me. Due to the severe bleeding from the officer, I knew that the individual approaching me had a weapon. Fearing for my life, my girlfriend's life, and the officer's life, I fired my handgun. When I felt that it was safe to do so, I tried my best to aid the injured officer. A good citizen who partially witnessed these events helped me try to control the situation and radioed to dispatch the events that had happened. On February 11th, 2024, a tragedy occurred that should have never happened. I, unfortunately, had the burden of being a part of that tragedy, and it will follow me the rest of my life. I truly wish that the events that happened that day never occurred. If I could go back in time and prevent any of this from happening, I would in a heartbeat. My heart goes out to family, friends, and every single person who has been affected. I hope that as a community, we can help each other to prevent anything like this from ever happening again. This is my commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends.